On today's video, we finish the journey that we started. We go way up into the mountains and explore on the bike. At the end of the video, we also find a really awesome and haunting mind of paranormal activity. Let's check it out. Hi explorers and welcome back to the channel. The Forsaken Explorer NZ here. I've brought you back to a place where we went last week because there's so much of it I didn't see myself. So much of it left unexplored. On the la last episode, we went all the way up here. Right to the very top, way up there. Which does not look far on this camera. But it's very far up. And we also explored this. But I didn't really explore further this way. I did have a nosy, but I didn't pop off the bike. There was old bridges, machinery, cranes, parts, machinery parts. And I went as far as I was comfortable on the track. But it did go a lot further. So today on the Explore, we are going to go as far that way as we can. And it is just beaming hot today. I really wish I could wear shorts, but I'm on the bike again, so might burn my leg on the exhaust pipe. Well, I would. So, get the little bike here again. Our little pit dirt bike, which we still haven't named. But uh, it's doing well. We'll head this way and see what we can find. We'll try a different strap today. I've got a, also, I usually put you on a head strap for the bike ride. We'll try the chest strap and see how that works. Cheers explorers, let's get to it. So we're here, we have some structures, let's have a bit of a look. Hopefully this contraption's all good. of an old structure through here. Oh, she's a bit lucky. There's some tin down here for my straw. Oh, it's so soft I'm sinking. Oh, losing my legs. Bit of a swamp I've stepped in back here. And a chassis of some sorts. It's not enough intact for me to work out what it is. I'd say it would have had a turning barrel on there for mixing, sluicing, something like that. Got some piping here, machinery here, rusted out tank here. Some ducting here by the looks of it. Large piece here that looks similar to the making of a crane. Huge electric motor here, huge electric motor. It's clear that they run a lot of things by power, not petrol. All right, carrying on. So this is where that bridge was, we briefly looked at. I thought it may have been a train bridge, but looking at my video after this, it may have actually been a truck bridge that went up there. Yeah, she's collapsed in the river now. You can see down there all the concrete pieces from the roading. It's still quite an intact road. There's actually a barricade across here to stop people from coming in the road. So somewhere up over this side, there's another road up in there. But it would only come to here, so it wouldn't be worth exploring. I don't believe there'd be anything up there in the way of mines. Now along here further, there's another structure. Now, another reason I'm making another video here, I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, meaning to mention, is um, I run out of battery. Because I basically had the GoPro on my head going all the time rather than turning it off and not using it. It's for sluicing in and conveyor belt system. Hopefully you can see that all right. I can't see what I am filming at this stage wearing this chest strap. 
I'll step back to give you an overview. Hopefully you can see that all right. There's probably a mine up in here where they were conveyor belting everything down here. That was another thing I wanted to look at. I drove past quickly, didn't really pay much attention in the video. Um, when I made the vid last video. So let's carry on. This bike's running not too good today. Doesn't like lying on its side in the car. I think the oil and petrol mix it a little bit. work so steep bike came instead running it's that steep Okay, it's on strike. All right, we're foot bound. You can't see how steep that is, but it's just too steep for the bike. Unless you get a run up, which I did not. But it looks like we wouldn't go much further than here on the bike anyway. I guess we're on foot. I oh, know we probably could get through here on the bike. Let's just check it out anyway. It's heavy for a little bike. You have to lift it over all these logs and stuff like that. Oh. Oh. Sorry for puffing. It was harder for me than the bike. I had to do most of the work. <laughs> Holy. Wow. I hope no rocks come down. Likely to kill me. It's very really loose. Oh wow. It's actually a concrete road here. Concrete. Wow. Oh. That's a drop. Man, the bike got us quite far up then. Here it collapses. Oh wow. That looks like a mine shaft in there, that is. Wow.
Holy. These boundary mines up there. I didn't expect to see this just around the corner here. Trying to climb loose rock with one hand holding a camera. This is just not the one. Oh, actually, forgot we've got this here. I'm still wearing the chesty strap. Whoops. I'll pitch that on the way back. Drop the GoPro handle. Ah, oh, still not really any better. It's a power cable, but she's definitely a dead one. So that can be our climbing rope. Sure hope it's a dead power cable anyway. Got to say it has to be. Oh. No, she's not a mine in there. It's just the underside of the structure above. There's no way I'll grip this with bare hands. So slippery more gloves. Wow. He's pretty totaled. Wow. She is not safe at all. There's still coal on this conveyor belt. She walked. Definitely not safe to be climbing on. Ah, right. Out. Okay, we're going back down. There it is. Bloody thing. Alright, I'm going to climb back up here now and save some camera battery time. There's definitely some more mines up there. There was definitely an incline here. You can see cables coming all the way down. And here, we are a long way up, very much so a long way up. There's even a concrete wall here, more cables. Oh wow, I did not see this. You can see that up there, there's another structure of a conveyor belt that would have come down from up there. Man, I want to get up there. I really do. But I don't have my gears back in my bag. Wow, this is amazing. Look at all the timbers that have come crashing down the mountainside here. And parts of the roadway. Concrete road right here. Concrete wall. Oops. 
Wow, this concrete's hollow underneath, it's literally hanging over the cliff. If it goes, so do I. But with my cat-like reflexes, even for a bigger dude, I'm very nimble on my feet. Whoa. That is a long way down. Very, that's crazy. We've come up so high on the bike without realizing it's a lot steeper than what you can see on camera. Whatever angle you can see on camera, double it. Because trust me, I review the video myself and I think, why didn't I carry on that road? That looks like a piece of Pacisco back there and go up there. And then I get here and go, ah, oh, that's why. <laughs> the bike wouldn't even run to go up the hill because I couldn't get the engine revved up enough to get going. As soon as I started it, gave it a rev and hopped on it, it died. Love listening to corn while we walk along. Made it to the bike. Lucky this sounds crappy, otherwise I get probably done for copyright. But floor music doesn't suit heavy music, but I actually love it. I like corn, Lamb of God, Bear Factory, Devil Driver. I love heavy music. But it doesn't suit a band of exploration, so I, I choose the music to, sit, to suit the adventure. Anyway, head down the hill. Right after I have a drink. Cheers. Right, refueled. Always take your rubbish with you. Let's get on out of here. We've lost a foot pedal. Let me go see if we can find that. Oh, I couldn't find it. If I don't find it, keep an eye out on the video. If you see where this other foot pedal like this has gone, it's come off. Poor bike's falling apart. white today. Guess we're carrying it up here then. <clears throat> I'm the bike.
dangerous stuff here. Let's go up and have a look at it. It's one I've not seen before. Right. Right, here's some rope someone's put here. Seems to be all good. Really stretchy, mind you. Hmm. Must have followed the right further through the bush. Little pipe there. Right, going all the way up here, again I don't want to waste battery, I'll see you up there. Right, second rope climb. Wow, keeps the scattered line messing through here. Ow, short sleeve, sharp fossils. Ow. Right, we've approached the mine here. I'm going to do a disclaimer right now. I have a gas detector. There are gas levels in here. I've got it set on vibrate. If it gets too high or too whatever, I'll come out. Do not enter this without the correct gear. I've got confined space training, I have safety ropes, and I have a gas detector. This potentially could be some of these mines have exploded and could be unstable. We will not be going in far and I'm entering at my own risk. If I can fit.
Wow. Won't hold you. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Look at the scintillation pipe I made out of 40 gallon drums. Wow. So far the gas is good. This is one about the dangers. It appears to be unexploded dynamite. A dynamite stick. Which means I will not be going in here very far at all. I could be wrong, that's what it appears to be to me. Now you just keep an eye on the on the droplets in the air on the camera. If you can see the mist. As it gets to bigger droplets, look at that. Wow. I haven't done mine here since the 1970s. Wow. Let's so steep downhill. Oh, I just got my first vibrate alert. Yes, it's still fine. I've got a sen for sensitivity. When it, it vibrates four times, you need to turn around and leave. Wow. This is so slippery. It's hard to believe that I've been down here since the 1970s. Apart from our friend and follower, it's too tucky for dinner. She has been down here as well. She uses a different technique with her gassing. We are going to have to turn around soon, as my camera is just dying in here. Could be paranormal. Oh, there's another string here. Okay, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I was starting to feel unsafe. I've had two drive rates now. Looks like it's caving in here. It's getting too steep and dangerous. Yeah, here's a quick look in this mine. We've not come in very far at all. I don't wish to. Best thing you can do when you're in these sorts of places is not panic. If you're claustrophobic, just keep your breathing down. Wow. I can't believe this is so intact, considering the whole hillside's caved in. They had compressed air for drilling down here. By the looks of it. Compressor chamber. Whew. Look at all those chisel marks from the hydraulic air compressed, I'd say. Ooh, that's dodgy. Let's get right over it. This is all that's caved in here. Twisted metal. Alright. If 
full on twisted nail. Let a tank there. Look at the twisted metal down there. Now when I turn the camera and climb out, there's a loud bang in there. Some of the most uneasy feeling I've had. Some miners did die in some of these mines and stuff like that. You know, they worked in there for a long time, stuff like that. Here's a photo of the aftermath. Five men died the day that explosion happened. Here's one of them being carted down. Um, I just pulled out a paranormal device when I'm at the doorway because something spooked me in there and I don't get spooked. Straight away it died. Malmead, it's turned on and it's beeping and but it, it's not working. Something killed the battery straight away. It does not work. We'll turn on this one. It was a big bang and it was not me. It just it, um, I got spooked to get out of here, put it that way. Let's put this in the doorway. Is there anybody in there? Please light this up to a different colour. Might not be in there far enough. I'd go back in there too, but... I don't have enough battery life. So with that in mind, I better get this video wrapped up. Well explorers, that's the end of the video for today. I have to end it now before my battery died like it did last week. We're less than 10% now. So uh, if you did like this video of me exploring the mines a little further, climbing up a different slip and looking in a different mine that was a bit more intact, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Push the bell a notification button and to comment down below. And we'll catch you on the next explore. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. We'll catch you later and over and out. Shit, now I can go.